Hello and welcome back to The Colony with Man of the Ants and welcome back to Jurassic World Evolution 2. Now I was going to jump straight into the mission rather than loading you into the menu screen but I noticed something that I thought it was uh, worth pointing out. So we are doing the campaign, we are 20% of the way through the campaign. We did what was essentially a training mission, which I thought about afterwards, didn't even have any visitors. We didn't even have any visitors to our park in quotation marks. Uh, and that counts as 20% of the campaign. So either, the uh, I'm assuming it means that there are only five missions, so either the other four missions are significantly longer, or the campaign is ridiculously tinyly small, and they are focusing on the challenge and chaos theory for you to get most of the bang for your buck. Uh, hopefully the campaign does actually pan out to be quite significant, because obviously I'm basing most of my comparisons to... Um, Planet Coaster, which was from the same developers, and the campaign in Planet Coaster was quite extensive. It lasted quite a long time, and we had a lot of fun with it. So I'm hoping that it's, it's, this is not really indicative of the actual length of the campaign. So we're going to hit continue. So last time we went to Arizona, and like I so said, we just basically wrangled a few dinosaurs, and we put some viewing things up. But like I said, we didn't have any visitors, which didn't occur to me until after I'd finished recording. But yeah, we didn't have any visitors in the first mission in the game, which seems... Just really, really crazy. Uh, we saw all this last time, but I will let it play through again. friends are concerned that many of these wild animals are getting close to their border. We'd like to prevent them from crossing it. We being the CIA. Of course, the CIA is involved in dinosaur angling, yes. species division. I'm Dr. Dua. I have an extensive background in paleo research in this very field. At Jurassic World, and now... Other locations I'm not at liberty to discuss. Well, thanks for bringing it up. However, I have history with many of the people involved here. A poacher camp. What remains of it, anyway? Amateurs. They only succeeded in getting themselves and others killed. And making our job that much more difficult. These scumbags. Because we need to practice using the lock-on, don't we? The dinosaurs are still agitated. Tranquilizing them would appear to be the best option at this point. Let's do it as safely and quickly as we can. Oh, there we go. I thought it wasn't working before. Because I've given us the, the help screen. Approach the dinosaur, then use the middle mouse button to lock onto the target, ensuring your gunner has a clear shot. Whilst locked on, use the left mouse button to fire a tranquilizer dart. How many are they going to take? Two? There's that one done. We can fire through the fences, which is nice. How many are there? Because that's two. Oh, that's it. Okay. Just as an organization has key players, <coughs> me... <laughs> I genuinely hate this guy. Facilities that it needs to run effectively. So you should get started with the construction of an arrival building, a control center, and also a backup generator to supply power. But we're not going to turn this into a park either, though, are we? Surely, because there's nothing there. Okay, so we need an arrival point, a control center, and a backup generator. I'm assuming. This is going to, we're assuming this is like the route into this area. Well, there is also a route this way as well. We can't really go that way. I'm assuming this is, this is like the entrance way. So we want an arrival point. Operatives travel from this point to research viewing galleries. Okay. Well, it's going to go over here. I don't know if it's actually, well, oh, it only goes up to there. So this, this is another tiny little area, isn't it? So it's just going to be like another tutorial. So 40% is going to be like tutorials? I don't know. Uh, uh, yeah, I don't know. Let's, uh, let's pop it down over here. I think there's a good spot. I like that. We need a control center. That's not what I wanted. A control center. Headquarters that enable operations and scientist management. Which you'd have thought should be quite close to the... Um, Arrival center. So I'm going to put that over here, I think. And then a backup generator, because we still don't have any actual power. 
Now, I think it just has to be touching to power the two of them. So if I put it, like, here... I would make more of an effort to hide it, but I doubt we're going to actually have any visitors. So I don't really see what the purpose would be. I'm trying to line this up with the middle of this. Like that. There we go. It's a bit more interesting than just sort of a standard grid layout, isn't it? And then we've got space there just to bring a path right down the middle of these. We're also going to need a response facility. Your response to this directive should be to get and yes, and most of these have got power apart from that corner there, one. Huh? <laughs> response, response. Uh, never mind. Don't respond. I know you're probably not supposed to really like him, but it's, it's, it's more than just not liking him. I just... I don't know. It's just, I just don't, don't enjoy it at all. Don't enjoy it at all. Uh, what do we need? It is in a response facility, yes. Which we need to actually... Uh, grab the dinosaurs with. Is that what it said? Is that the response one? Oh, they monitor, so they're the ones who go out and drive around? But then why is there a helipad? Oh, no, it is the tranquilizers the dinosaurs. I was right. I was right. Let's pop this uh, here. Just trying to make the pass a bit interesting. Like I say, I don't think it's really going to matter at all. I think we're just going to get this up and running. Get the fences built, get some dinosaurs in there. There'll probably be some more to go and wrangle. And then I think we'll probably be done with this mission, if I had to guess. If I had to guess. How are we doing in terms of power usage? Because there's a lot of stuff. We need to get the dinosaurs into new holding enclosures. The ones we've already captured. Yep, oh. that's right. And we'll want them awake and as comfortable Power required is like none. None of these buildings actually require... Only this requires power. That's, um... Weird, but okay. So we need to repair all these. So what do I just click on this dude and then say, Add task. Repair fence. Repair fence. Or do I just keep adding tasks? I can only do one... Oh, there we oh, No, wait, it's gone again. We did see these dinosaurs absolutely smashing their way through these fences, though. So I can't say I'm entirely convinced that these fences are suitable. Task slot's full. Okay, let's speed everything. He's stuck on a dinosaur. He's just smashing into the dinosaur. He's properly smashed his jeep up doing that. And now he's just stuck. The AI is, uh, not great, I would say. Is it actually, do I have to hold it? So saying left mouse button, if I click it, it makes a sound. Do I just keep clicking? Honestly, I just I don't really understand what's happening at the moment. Don't let me down, game. I thought we were doing okay. I thought we were enjoying ourselves. Well, there we go. That worked. But I can't click on that. Shut up. I don't want to run you over. You know, I can't click on that. Is that because the dinosaur's in the way? I don't think I can fix it because the dinosaur's in the way. That's probably not a problem. We only need a couple of enclosures. So if we just fix whatever we can. I've been playing a bit of Forza. Horizon 5, and I do wish the uh, handbrake and the, the just the general handling was a bit more like Forza, which is a bit of a bit of a tall ask, really, for a, for a Jurassic World Park management game. I'm guessing these aren't getting fixed because that guy is in the way. 
Well, how are we doing in terms of enclosures? That one we can't fix, and this one we can't fix. But this one is enclosed, and this one is enclosed. So I think we'll just stick them in these two for now. And then we'll get the rest of the fences. We probably could have actually just powered these two and got them in there, but that'll do for now. Speed everything up. All right, let's take control of this guy. Right, okay, now it's actually doing some stuff. So we need to go and fix that one over there. It's a bit odd as to where you have to click to get this to work as well. Uh, there's no um, there's no gates. There are no gates. We'll just have to observe them from outside if we can. I mean, they're not going to enjoy where they are at all. It's going to be horrible for them. There we go. Um, ensure the Karna Taurus are awake and safely enclosed. Well, they appear to be safely enclosed. Should they? Do they have to be in the same same enclosure? I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to put down a generator back here. I would like to get rid of this middle fence. It does say they're lonely. So they do need to have yeah, more population. So we'll use this one here. Uh, let's get a gate on this. Pop that there. I'm going to need a meat feeder. Let's pop that down like here. And they've got a little bit of water. We'll just hope that's enough for now. Let's transport you. Or well, I can because you're not tranquilized. Add task. Tranquilize. Tranquilize. Oh no! Now they're they're they're, they're uh, now funding. Don't don't do it! Don't do it! Did that cancel their tasks? It did not. Okay, I think we saved the day. And sure they have eighty percent comfort. And they need to be in a viewing gallery. So actually, now, now we've got to that point, I think we do actually want to tranquilize them anyway. Because they are going to need to be not lonely. We may as well take control of it. There's not much else going on. Um, dude? Is that both of them? Yeah. Okay, well, the fences aren't any good, are they? We have learnt that. Do we have a better fence? That's just a gate. I don't know how we're going to contain them. Maybe they'll just be 
happier. If they're not lonely and miserable. Just gonna wait for them to get here so we can observe them. Can I not change the game speed when I'm in this mode? Obviously not. Don't go anywhere. Don't do it. Turn it around so it can actually get back to base easily. Because it's terrible. It still says they're lonely. Population one, but there are definitely two of them. So that's a lie. Uh, anyway, they need a little bit more water. Oh, they know they need a bigger enclosure. That's what they need. They haven't got enough open space. So. Let's try that to start. How does that make you feel? Still only 21... No, wait, why is that not... Why is that not seen that it's the same enclosure? That doesn't make any sense. Oh, game, why are you doing this to me? Well, there we go. Now it's extended. Still not quite enough. I mean, it's almost there. What I'll probably do then is just to join these two together. Go to that, go to that, go to that. Now, what else did you need? Yes, that's the open space done. Prey. Well, you got the feeder. Needs a little bit of sand. It's got just enough water now. But we need sand. This area still isn't enough for that, though, saying that. I thought we were going to be okay, but we are not. So I might just extend this into one big square, then. Is it about there? Not quite, but... It's hard to care too much when we think we're going to barely be here. How are we doing? Population has increased to two now that that dude's woken up. Uh, the area, oh my word, it still isn't quite enough. Oh no, now we go. There, he's explored a bit more. So now the area's okay, cohabitation's okay, the population's okay, water's okay, sand and prey. Well, we can do sand. That's probably about all we can do. Can we do sand? How do we do sand? Rocks. Grass, rock, snow, sand. But surely it's just gonna... Snow, and then it'll just be snowy again. It seems weird to replace the snow texture. Which would be related to temperature rather than... Uh, anything else. Comfort is 70. Missing prey. Comfort is 69. Given them more area? Like, there's, there's more there to do more comfort? Would we just have to give them prey? Is that going to give them 31%? How do we give them prey?
Live prey feeder. There we go. And then we want a viewing gallery. Which is going to be entirely pointless because no one's going to view it. Hurrah! And so I really wouldn't usually do this either. Because this is going right past one of what would be classed as like the sort of star facilities. Well, they have reached 80% comfort now. What are they up to? That that did give them 31%. Putting that... Uh, is it a goat? How do we get the... Uh, well, we just zoom into them when they like that look. There's no way of getting that without having that up. Oh, hello. What's happening? They had dangerous animals here? Correct, Mr. Finch. We know where they were. But now, Mr. Grady... It's essential that we know where they are. I know my dinosaurs. I'd say they're headed off in this direction. And do you know That's your vague. dinosaurs, Mr. Grady? Better than anyone. But these are not your dinosaurs, per se. Well, you're just gonna have to trust me on this one. Okay. Oh, there we go. It has to give me a marker on the compass. I was gonna say, that's a very vague statement otherwise. I don't think I'll have to search very hard. This looks promising. You know, not that I'm promising anything. Everything points in this direction. Is dead deer? I think it's a deer. This is going to be just another log for us to analyze. Oh, game, that's just lazy. Say what you want about the dinosaurs, but they're not subtle. Wherever they go, they leave a mark. Oh, hello. Looks like someone I know. This? Do we need to worry about this? because that guy, he is out there. Talk about an ego. Hmm, as opposed to... Well, you know, a certain lovable animal behaviorist whose humility has a charm of its own. It's another tree. Could they could have just done something else, could they not? I feel like we are getting close. This is quite a large area, though. I mean, it's, you know, just basically trees and a bit of grass, but it is quite a large area we get to travel around, if not build a park in. I'm starting to get the impression that the... That's another tree. That the campaign is just going to basically be an extended tutorial. Or it'll be like four tutorials and then the last bit will be like, Ah, here's a park. Build, build out your park stuff. Another deer. I'm just gonna go Owen. full whack, mate. Owen, are you okay? What is happening? A little busy right now. Please tell me you have things under control. Oh, I can't. Do you want me to lie? If it'll calm my anxiety, yes. I'm a bundle of raw nerves. We're working the problem. We have a helicopter standing by, and they'll attempt to tranquilize the animal from the air. Attempt? Attempt? <laughs> We need success, Dr. Dua, before it can eat Grady and the others. Now, please don't say that. You oh, this is hit. Banging. Just two. Just two for that. That's massive as well. Owen, what's our status? We're close. We have everything almost under control, but the animal is injured. We'll need to get her to a secure enclosure for observation and treatment. I'll notify Dr. Dua. Oh, me? Yeah, oh, we have to go miles. Um, surely, 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 a level two fence is not going to cut this. 
you would have thought that would be like way, way under what it would need. And I'm going to just assume it's going to need a lot more fencing as well. So we're just going to actually extend this like. There. And the herbivores? What about them? It's not a concern. Stay away from civilization, leave them in place. They'll survive in the wilderness without our intervention, right? Given time to adapt. Yes, I'd say they will. I guess that's something we're all going to have to get used to. Having dinosaurs out in the world. Is that you talking or is that the government? Claire. Claire. I am the government. Pessimistic Claire. So I've sped everything up. So they do seem to be less inclined to smash through the fence if they're happy. So that's something. Although they require a status check. And that's because... I don't have a ranger post in here. So I'm going to pop one down right next to the door, I think. And then we're going to just do this. And we're going to say add task. And we're going to assign it to that ranger post. And then we're going to preemptively add one here as well. And we're going to add a task and assign him to that one. Because we are going to need a status check on this dude very, very soon. No, I didn't want you to do that. I did not want you to do that. I just wanted to take a look at this dude, make sure he's still happy. Yeah. <gasps> Don't know if you just saw that dude hunting in the background, but that was pretty cool. That was pretty cool. I like these dudes. They're little, really tiny little arms, but these very cool horns on their head. I'm going to need a paleo medical facility to assess the state Here he goes. of the dinosaur that they're bringing in. Just hoofs it. Medical scan. That's nice. If we're going to avoid an event That's nice. I should be paying more attention. Oh. It's just showing me it exists. I, mean, I don't have any income, so what am I going to do about that? Let's just pause the game a second. Um, construct an operational... What I don't like is when I click on something, it zooms in so heavily. I really don't enjoy that. A paleo medical facility. It's getting quite crowded, isn't it? Let's put this over here. Again, right next to the viewing spot, really, which is terrible and definitely not something I would do if we thought this was actually going to be a working park. But I'm pretty sure it's not, so we're okay. So territory needs, zero cohabitation is fine. It needs a little, no, I think we're okay with area. Population is fine. It needs a bit more water. It needs some live prey. Can we make this smaller? Yes, just down there, look. So if you just add on, add on to this one. I think, oh, there we go, it needs 7%. I'm just gonna fill in this little corner, I think. I didn't want you to come out of that completely. Uh, prey and forest. So let's do the live prey, which we'll just pop down uh, there. And then forest. Provides forest. Ground leaf, is there like a different foresty one? Well, there are two forests. What have we got? We've got this forest here, right? So we should match it in, I think. We could in increase the radius. It's not much of a forest. I guess that's so it doesn't um, completely obstruct the view and everything. It is actually also very different trees to what I was expecting. So what's this forest look like? Much more what we'd actually want. Okay. No one is ever going to see this dinosaur. What did it still need? I missed what it needed. 
Open space? Well, how can you have open space and forest, you madman? How do I just remove, then? Do I just need to give it a bigger territory? Like a bigger enclosure? I guess so. Maybe it's not done by percentage. Maybe it's just done by sort of area. Let's wait for that to get built. I would kind of like to see things actually coming and building these rather than just magically appearing. But hey-ho. Yeah, yeah, that, that, that did it. That's exactly what it is. Oh, no, it's not. Oh, but it only has to have 80%. We don't have to get it to 100. I don't know how you would get it to 100 then, but fine. 80% is fine. We've hit that. We've constructed this, but it doesn't have any power. Ha, 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 ha. Just going to put it there. I'd like I say, again, I probably wouldn't just whack it there normally, but who cares too much what this is going to look like, right? Sometimes what Recruit three scientists. Do we do this through here? Let's hire a few scientists with Can we get there through here? These animals. Make sure they are competent with the MVU and can perform medical scans on the dinosaurs. Wait. I'm interested to see what we can discover. Oh. Okay. Um... Where did we do that last time? From the control room? Scientists. Recruit new scientists. Um, oh, I got goes up to 10 in genetics. 9 in welfare. Oh, that was a weird way. It just flicked itself back there. But we don't have anyone who's particularly hard. I suppose there's a 7 in logistics. Oh, there's a 9 in logistics there, look. So if we get those people, we would have someone who's very good in each of them. Let's uh, let's do that. So that's logistics, genetics, out of space. Wait, why do we still have humaness? Why do we still have humaness if we're in a different park? So again, it's. We're sharing some resource because that's the guy we got in the first mission, right? Is it? I think it is. So our staff are shared between missions? Even in vastly different locations? I don't know, that's so weird. Um We need a staff building. Wait, where do we get a staff building? Build another staff center. Oh, no, we don't need to recruit three scientists. They need to have a combined welfare skill of three. We just have terrible scientists for what we need. Which one is welfare? The plus. Yeah, they just got... All oh, right, okay. Um, fire. 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 Oh, you have to go into here, I see. Fire scientist. Confirm. See you later. Bye-bye. Recruit new one. Welfare. You. You have no genetics. Perfect. We've hired more scientists, per Dr. Dua. So, we should have a better handle on the dinosaur's medical status. Hopefully we'll be able to figure out what went wrong. Hey, if I've learned anything, it's that these animals are unpredictable. Like people. But well, with uh, bigger teeth. Yeah. We should keep Thank you, not Chris. Right, right. Uh, who? Dr. Dua? Yes. She's working for the CIA. Who's this? Who's that person? Pleased to know I'm running a little intelligence. Who's this just wandering around? Looking out for the both of us. <laughs> You're a lot more what is going on? You let on. Smarter, too. Yeah. 
Now what? Use the MVU to diagnose dinosaur injury using a medical scan. Major injuries require special treatment at the paleo medical facility. They need to be transported there. Assign scientists to treat the injury whilst the dinosaur is there. We have to knock that dino out. Micromanager -y, isn't it? But okay. You do you. You do you. Genuinely, just cannot stand the guy. Cannot stand the guy. That'll do. Right. Now that we have control of the dinosaur, temporarily, let's get it transported to the paleo medical facility where we can treat its injuries. This guy, right? Oh, just do both of them. Yeah, fine. Oh, wait. Oh, excess duration is down. Yeah, that's, that's great then. Let's do that. $400,000 is going to require to fix that dinosaur's bone. I think we need some sort of healthcare plan for them. That's that's very expensive. We haven't actually got a good look at them yet. Well, they're all messed up, yo. I can't click on him when he's uh, flying. It'd be nice if you could. So you could just sort of follow him in the air. Quite difficult to actually get a good view. Let's speed everything up and get it over there sooner. I don't know where these transportation helicopters just magically come from. I think it'd be nice to actually have a tra like a transportation building. So if you have to call them in, then it has like a bit of a cost. But maybe you have a building which houses these things. Because otherwise they just appear from literally nowhere. Do your dirty work. And then they just fly off into mountains. Like that. Exactly like that. I was hoping to see actual scientists, and that guy, look at it, is not comfortable. Look at his neck! That is not a good way of working. How? Part of the healing process is to get some rest. Preferably someplace comfortable. Always works for me. Same for the dinosaur. Can't do it yet. Imagine. You imagine correctly. Not according to my ex. Oh, God. Yes, moving on then. Oh, God. To have the animal transported I'm assuming that guy isn't part of the other modes. If you please. That can't be safe, just having a Triceratops just wandering around. And everyone's just running away from it. And this thing here, I don't think, is entirely friendly. Oh, you, you can't do the normal track. You have to go into the building and do it. And then we need a viewing gallery, despite the fact nobody is here to view anything. Asset being transported. Can't fit it in there, annoyingly. Confirming asset delivery. Um, I mean, it's it's not not a great space to be honest. Vehicle under th oh yeah, okay, fair enough. It's not great because the path's going to have to go past the, past the generator, but again, no one's ever going to use it, so it doesn't really matter, does it? In fact, I'm going to do something weird like that. Mission complete! That's so that it Don't tell me that's 40% of the game. Do not tell me that is 40% of the campaign now. I'm sure the dinosaurs would thrive in the forest. At first, I believed this was for the best. Then we realized that forest makes up about one-fifth of the total land mass in the U.S. and almost 40% of Canada's wilderness. You just suddenly realized that after working in the CIA, on, on making the forest work. the dinosaurs feel right at home. In. The. Forest. Oh, look at him! I really hope the powers that be know what they're doing. He is delightful. Because the dinosaurs... Or she. Whatever. Do. They are delightful. 
And now we're off to Pennsylvania. The DFW needs to establish a central headquarters to house all the newly captured dinosaurs. Still doesn't sound much like an actual park. Yeah, I... Maybe it's sort of said at some point. I'm going to skip this just because we are going to watch this beginning of the next video. Anyway. Maybe it did sort of say somewhere that the campaign wasn't really a park management campaign. It was more of a um, dinosaur capturing campaign. Immerse yourself in a compelling and original Jurassic World story set after the Earth Shattering events. See the efforts of the DFW to control, conserve, and contain wild dinosaurs across. The but then why'd you build the observation buildings? Yeah, I, I think, like I say, what we're probably going to end up with is at the end of it, the last one will be all the dinosaurs you've got, put them in a park that people can actually look at. Um, so I do feel we are going to go into uh, maybe the Chaos Theory story, because that's still a story mode thing. And maybe we'll do those ones afterwards as well, then, after we've done this. Because that is, yeah, it is 40% of the way through the, through the main campaign now. Which is crazy. But there we go. D definitely feeling a little bit tarnished compared to my, my sort of um, happiness at the end of the Ferris video. But I think understanding a bit more that the campaign is just... If we don't expect it to do exactly what we're sort of what we thought it might be doing, then I think that's sort of going to temper our expectations a bit. And maybe we just have to wait until we dig into some of the more interest, interesting modes is a bit of a... Because what we're doing here is kind of interesting. I do hope it gets a bit more varied, because right now we're literally just tranking, scanning, little bit of building stuff in things, tranking, scanning, transporting. It's all quite samey at the moment. So I would like to see some variety in the, in the story campaign. Hopefully we'll see that in the next mission in Pennsylvania. Anyway, I am still enjoying the game. I am definitely going to carry on with a, a much longer series than we did for the first one. Mainly because we haven't actually seen how the, the, the park sort of management mechanics work. So the things which let me down in the first game, we don't know if they're going to let me down in this one. But I'm, I'm, I'm quietly confident still that we're not going to have the same issues. Hope you're enjoying this as well. If you are, hit the like button, comment, subscribe, notification bell, all those good things. And don't forget to stream on Wednesdays at 7.15pm UK time. And it would be wonderful to see you there. It really, honestly, truly would. Hopefully I'll see you there. Otherwise, I will see you next time in Jurassic World Evolution 2. And as always, thank you very much for joining me.